Hello, I'm Paul, and in this video I'm going to give a short overview of our paper, Unveiling the Invisible, Detection and Evaluation of Prototype Pollution Gadgets with Dynamic Taint Analysis. Let's start with a quick background. In prototype-based languages, such as JavaScript, an object can define any other object as its parent. This is called its prototype. By default, every object defines the same root prototype. Prototype pollution now refers to overwriting a property of this root prototype. Every object that inherits from it will thereby also inherit the overwritten property. This can lead to exploits in gadgets. Gadgets are legitimate source code sections that contain vulnerabilities when triggered with one or more polluted properties. The gadgets are mostly independent of the pollution, as long as the pollution happens before the gadget is triggered. In long-running Node.js applications, this means that they can happen at totally different times in totally different locations. In our work, we mainly focused on these gadgets. In particular, we aim to systematically study the prevalence of server-side gadgets in the NPM ecosystem. For this, we developed a methodology and implementation called Dusty for an efficient semi-automated system to find such prototype pollution gadgets. We then use this tool to do a large-scale analysis of popular NPM packages. We focus mostly on arbitrary code executions. The architecture of our approach can be separated in three main parts. It starts with a setup where Dusty takes a package name and automatically installs the corresponding package as well as its dependencies. It then automatically runs the test suite provided by the package with our analysis. The analysis is a dynamic taint analysis using AST instrumentation. We implement a special execution strategy that decides on the process basis if it should be instrumented. The analysis records flows from potentially polluted properties to every Node.js API sync. Finally, we do semi-automatic verification of the found flows. This starts with a prioritization based on the syncs. We focus on Node.js API calls that can lead to ACE, such as functions that spawn a new process. We then visualize the flow with the serif data format and create proof of concepts. In our experiment, we analyzed over 9,000 of the most dependent upon NPM packages. Our analysis finds 49 newly exploitable arbitrary code execution gadgets in many popular packages, such as EJS. We then use one of the found gadgets in the node mailer package to show a full end-to-end -end exploit from the prototype pollution to the arbitrary code execution. If you want to know more about our approach and methodology, please check out our paper. You can also check out our tool on GitHub.